So again, I've described him more musically than historically. He was born in Woodville, Mississippi, raised in New Orleans, a professional musician with his father's band as a child and adolescent, emerging in his late 20s with the original Count Basie Orchestra in their glory successes as pop stars. This is 75 years ago, mind you. And then on to a career as an individual player that led to hit records, they're all from the 1940s, and major concert tours that are from the 40s and 50s. One, two, three, four. <laughs> died uh, over 54 years ago, 2,003 years to the day after Julius Caesar's. Beware those Ides of March in 1959, they took the president from us. Lester Young died at the age of 49, but he is forever. But he is really one of the divine performers of improvised art who has ever lived. He creates a total identity for his instrument that is separate than its previously known concepts and have impact on all subsequent development. But whether you favor one period of Lester Young or over another, or even hear it as anything more than one period, Lester Young, the records he made with Billie Holiday in the 30s and the swing era classics he makes with Count Basie are as magical as any episodes of jazz expression as that can be itemized.